We are at Thunder Hill Raceway for the NASA 25 hour race here um, with Team Honda Research West with our brand new 2022 Honda Civic SIs. So 25 hours of Thunder Hill is the longest race in the world, um, which is an amazing thing. I mean, there's some 24 hour races out there. Uh, this is 25 hours. It, it's super grueling on the uh, on the cars, on the drivers, on the teams. I mean, I was just commenting this morning that, you know, I'm not gonna sleep in my own bed for 48 hours here. I think the key with this race, as I've said, is the spread of the fastest to the slowest cars is larger than any race you'll find anywhere else. And that's what makes this race pretty special. But it also presents such a unique challenge because you will have a car that's 30 seconds a lap faster than you and cars that are 30 seconds a lap slower than you at times. The new 2022 Civic SI builds on the reliability and the performance levels of the previous generation cars. Um, so a lot of what we see here is very familiar um, as what we've raced in the past. There are some new things. Um, and so we've had to kind of work with those. Um, and as we take a production streetcar and put it on the racetrack and add all of our racing parts to it, we have to integrate into those things. And that's not always an easy thing to do. A race car is a system of parts. Uh, it's not just any, any individual thing. And these cars, while they're much of them is stock, they're probably 75% stock uh, OE parts, which gives us a lot of reliability. The flip side of that is uh, we had to add a bunch of race parts to it in order to make the car safe for a 25 hour race. So we have upgraded brakes, we have upgraded fuel system, all of that sort of thing. You could have issues with those. Paragon especially uh, designed their calipers for us for, for endurance racing, so we can actually utilize a thicker pad. Typically, in a 25 hour race, it's pretty hard, especially with front wheel drive cars on the brakes. We need a thicker pad so that we're servicing the car in fewer intervals. So Paragon gives us that ability. I'm proud to say I think we have the closest spread amongst all of our drivers from our most experienced down to uh, some brand new drivers this year. Uh, yeah, I think the 25 is a really cool event. It has that professional kind of atmosphere, but with that small club racing approach. So it's an awesome event and looking forward to getting, getting started and getting laps on because like it's just an endurance race, just smooth and steady and we'll see where we are at the end when the sun comes up. We did really good in qualifying. Calvin uh, got us in a good spot. We were at P10 on the grid, which was uh, very good. Um, car was running really well. Calvin was in the car at the start. Race was going as planned, doing good lap time, staying out of trouble. There was a little bit of a uh, problem on track. As you know, our cars are very reliable. Even the newest cars are, are known for reliability. But we do make modifications um, for the race car to gain some performance and sometimes those result in issues that we have to deal with and we can have these kind of problems. We're gonna get this engine swab done and hopefully uh, if everything uh, if it fires up and it's running well, we hope that we'll, uh, we'll go to the end. So we had some uh, heavy fog, which uh, in the years that I've been coming to this has never happened. So they had to stop the race. I think we were stopped for about a good eight hours. Fortunately for us, we had brought our car in for repairs just prior to the flag. So we were able to continue our work and repair the car while the other cars were stopped on track. So that actually was uh, to our advantage as far as the race goes. Because that's what this is about. It's about having fun. It's about working together as a team, problem solving. You know, one of the things, while it's typically harder to have a brand new car build, it usually provides more drama and more potential to work together as a team. And that's what this is. It's a team building exercise for employees of Honda um, to work together. And we certainly had plenty of drama and plenty of team building uh, on this exercise. Given the circumstances, I mean, we had some mechanical issues that we were trying to diagnose and overcome. Um, I mean, we're replacing engines, replacing transmissions, uh, really large feats, but uh, this is a team that never gives up. We've been through a couple before where we've had uh, mechanical adversities, weather adversities, a bunch of issues in the past, and these guys get together and they come up with a plan. It takes about 30 seconds, and then we go straight to executing. So it's a big thing to actually finish the 25, and that's the one thing we come here to do. So. No matter where we finish, uh, our car is going to be reliable back on the track and uh, going to take the checkered flag just like we did today.